this project, I will be using worsted weight yarn, medium, number 4 yarn, 75% wool, 25% nylon. I used one ball and a quarter. One ball has 200 meters. You can use any yarn of your choice. 3 mm crochet hook, at least 4 pieces, stitch markers. You can also use scrap yarns, yarn needle, and a pair of scissors. Before we start, I want to explain the flow of the pattern. So first, we are going to make this one, the triangle. So it's up to you how long you want this triangle. So after making the triangle, we're going to make chains both sides. So make sure you put the triangle in the middle of your chest and this chain will go around to your back. Leave a gap about 6 to 7 inches because the yarn will stretch and we are going to make a string to close the back. So this part here, uh, ne uh, you need to decide how long you want this. If you want your top to be a little longer, then you can just add more rows. Measure it yourself and decide whatever you like. And after making this part, then we, uh, go we are going to make the shoulder strap and then uh, the sleeve. After making this, uh, then you do the other sleeve, then make the border. So yeah, let's get started. First, uh, cut a yarn 2 meters long, set it aside. We are going to use this later. To start, make a slip knot. Then chain 4. Chain is a uh, yarn over. And then pull through. After making 4 chains in the first chain, make 2 double crochet. Okay, so it's one and then the second one. Okay, so this is row one and you have three double crochets here because there is a three chain, count as the first double crochet. Row two, turn work, chain three, chain at the beginning of the row, count as a stitch. Okay, make another one double crochet in that first stitch where chain three is. One double crochet in the next uh, stitch. Then two double crochets in the third chain. Okay, so row 2, you should have 5 double crochets. Row 3, turn work, chain 3, 1 double crochet in the same stitch where chain 3 is. Then 1 double crochet in the middle stitches. Two double crochet in the last stitch which you need to put your stitch in the third chain so row three you should have seven stitches so that's uh, that is the pattern of the triangle you need to increase two stitches each row at the beginning and at the end of the row so you need to repeat uh, this until you have the length that you need mine measures uh, 9 centimeters and I did 10 rows after making the triangle make a chain uh, that will go just past the armpit maybe 2 inches long past the armpit if you are making the same size as me I will chain 52 After making 52 chains in uh, this side, just leave it for now. 
uh, then uh, get the yarn that you set aside a while ago we use it uh, we use this um, for the other side connect the yarn in the third chain Then make a chain, uh, whatever number in the other side, uh, deduct uh, one chain for this side. I did 52 in the other side and so here I will only chain 51. After making 51 chains, if the yarn is uh, still long, uh, just cut it shorter, then uh, pull full and pull again to make it tight. So we have the chains uh, here on this side, then in the other side as well. We are going to work on these chains. Insert the hook back and then turn work. In the fourth chain, make one double crochet. The loop where the hook is inserted does not count. Then in the next chain, one double crochet. And just repeat one double crochet in each chain. So you just uh, do that up to here and I will show you when you get to this part. Okay, so this is my work. When you get to this part, uh, let us zoom it a little bit so you can see it properly. Okay, so this part... Uh, here we are going to make something different see this one here is the first stitch this one and then this one is the second stitch in the second stitch we are going to make a front post double crochet so we are going to work on the post this one here okay because uh, we are going to continue making the V shape like this this one here okay so we need to create this one so that's why we need to keep doing the this thing here all right so just in that first stitch here just do the normal uh, one double crochet in the second stitch yarn over insert it here and then go around the post and then yarn over Pull, it, pull the yarn through and then yarn over, pull two loops and then yarn over, pull the remaining two loops. Okay, so that's a front post double crochet. Starting in the next stitch, make one double crochet in each stitch, leaving two stitches at the end.
Okay, so I'm at the end and as you can see, I have two stitches left. In the next stitch, make one front post double crochet. One double crochet in the last stitch. Then we are going to work on the chains. Starting from the first uh, chain, make one double crochet in each chain. Okay, so you just continue making one double crochet in each chain till the end, just like uh, in uh, the other side. Okay, so I have finished my uh, making the first row for this part. Uh, you, your work should uh, look like this, and this will be the front of the top. Now for row two, you need to turn work and then chain three chain 3 count as a uh, first stitch starting in the next stitch make one double crochet and just repeat one double crochet in each stitch so you just continue doing that and when you get to this part you leave one stitch uh, before the front post stitch Okay, so for row 2, or when we face the wrong side of the project, we are going to make back post double crochet in the stitch before the front post double crochet from the previous row. So I actually actually left two stitches here. So let me just make one double crochet in the next stitch. Okay, so in the stitch before the front post double crochet, that's where we are going to work our back post, double crochet. So yarn over, insert uh, the hook from back. Okay, from the back, and then go around the stitch. And then yarn over. Pull through. Okay, then yarn over. Need to pull two loops and then yarn over, pull the remaining two loops. Okay, so that's the back post double crochet. In the next stitch, which is the front post double crochet from the previous row, make one double crochet. Okay, starting from the next stitch, make one double crochet in each stitch until you reach the front post double crochet from the previous row.
Okay, so here's the front post a double crochet from the previous row. In this side, we are going to make our back post double crochet in the stitch after the front post double crochet, crochet from the previous row. So we can create uh, this one. This one here. Okay, so we continue creating this V shape. All right. So what? Uh, so that's what you need to remember for uh, this side. Okay, this side here. Make the uh, post double crochet in the stitch before the post double crochet from the previous row. Okay, this one here. And in this side, you make it after the post double crochet. All right. Okay, so I will show you uh, in the next stitch, which uh, is the front post double crochet from the previous row, make one double crochet. In the next stitch, make back post double crochet. Then starting from the next stitch, make one double crochet in each stitch till the end of the row. Okay, so you just need to repeat uh, uh, these uh, two rows alternating. When you're facing the right side of the project, make front post double crochet. And when you're facing the wrong side of the project, make back post double crochet and you need to do that until you have the length that you want for your top so mine measures 11 centimeters or 4.3 inches and I did 12 rows so now the next thing we need to do is mark where we are going to make our shoulder straps so get your stitch markers you can use scrap yarns for stitch marker from the first stitch count eight stitches one this is the first one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. In insert the stitch marker in the eighth stitch. Okay, for this side here, this is the post double crochet. This one. Okay, in the next stitch to the left of the post double crochet, count four stitches. One, two, three, four insert stitch marker in the in the fourth stitch in the next stitch of the post double crochet to the right count three stitches then insert stitch marker in the third stitch okay so that's where we're going to make our strap if you have more stitch markers go ahead and do the same in the other side otherwise you can do it later after making this side okay to make the strap start by chaining three Turn work, chain three, count as the first double crochet. Starting from the next stitch, make one double crochet in each stitch till the stitch marker. And by the end of this row, you should have eight stitches. Okay, so my strap measures 3.5 uh, centimeters. This is uh, 8 stitches. Okay, so row 2, turn work. And then chain 3. 
this count as the first double crochet then starting from the next stitch one double crochet in each stitch till the end so it show you should have eight stitches no increase or decrease you need to and you need to keep doing uh, repeating this until you have a strap long enough go over your shoulders to the front so mine measures 30.5 centimeters so you can add maybe one centimeter each size going up okay so place the strap like this insert the hook in the stitch where you place the stitch marker and then in the loop and pull through okay just like that all right so you need to make sure that uh, it's not uh, twisted so uh, now we are going to slip stitch to attach uh, first chain one in the second stitch insert hook then in the other side in the second stitch in the other side and yarn over pull through and to the loop also okay so repeat this for the next uh, six stitches Okay, so it should uh, look like this. So this is the front, okay, and that is the back there. So now you can just cut the yarn and fasten off. For the next uh, part, we are going to work on the sleeve. We are going to work around here. Okay, so attach yarn in this side or here it doesn't matter chain three for the first row we are going to make a double crochet row so see this space this one here Okay, so in between two spaces, there's a joint, so make one double crochet in the space, one double crochet in the joint, and just repeat. And while you are making the stitches, this yarn end, you can also work over them, so, uh, so uh, it's, it will save you from hiding them later. Okay, so yeah, I will let you do this part and when you reach this uh, part here, you, you need to work around and when you reach this one here, uh, you need to make one double crochet in each stitch and then end the round with a slip stitch in the third uh, chain. Okay, so you need to make uh, two more rows of double crochet in each stitch start the row by chaining three and with the slip stitch in the third chain and after three rows of double crochet we are going to start decreasing in the fourth row 
Okay, I'm in uh, row 4 to start chain 3. Starting from the next uh, stitch, make 1 double crochet in each stitch in the next uh, 4 stitches. Okay, so we have 5 double crochet stitch here. In the next uh, stitch, we are going to make the decrease. So you need to yarn over and then insert the hook in the next stitch, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull two loops. Do not finish the stitch. Insert the hook in the next stitch, yarn over, pull through, and then yarn over, pull two loops, and then yarn over, pull the remaining two loops. Okay, that's how we are going to decrease. I'll show you one more time. Starting from the next stitch, make one double crochet in each stitch in the next five stitches. Then in the sixth stitch, we are going to make the decrease. Okay, so we have five stitches here. To make the decrease uh, in the next uh, stitch, yarn over, insert hook, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull two loops, insert hook in the next stitch, yarn over, pull through, and yarn over, pull two loops, and yarn over, pull the remaining two loops. Okay, so that's the pattern for this row. You need to make five double crochets in each stitch, and in the sixth stitch, make the decrease. Okay, so to end this row, slip stitch in the third chain okay so that's four rows of double crochet starting in the fifth row we are going to make a single crochet row start by chaining one chain one does not count as a stitch in the first stitch where chain one is make one single crochet so insert hook and over pull for and over pull two loops then starting from the next stitch, make one single crochet in the next four stitches. Okay, so we have five single crochets here. In the next stitch, which is the sixth stitch, insert hook and over pull through, and then insert into the next stitch and over pull through and then yarn over pull three loops okay so that's how we are going to decrease okay so i'll do it again with you in the next starting from the next stitch make five single crochets in the next five stitches right in the sixth stitch we have to decrease insert hook yarn over pull through yarn and then insert in the next stitch and then you have three loops and then yarn over pull three loops okay so that's the pattern of this row to end slip stitch in the first single crochet after making this row make another two rows of single crochet with a decrease just repeat exactly what you did in this row then after making the three rows of single cro of single crochet with a decrease make one row of single crochet without decrease just one single crochet in each stitch then end the row with a slip stitch in the first single crochet okay so for the sleeves there's four rows of double crochet and four rows of single crochet after doing all that you can cut yarn and fasten off so after making this sleeve this sleeve you repeat what you did in this side to make the other side after making the two sleeves we are going to make the border as well as the back of uh, the top where we insert the string okay so here is my top right uh, we are going to make the border and in this uh, part here we are going to make a slot so where we insert the string to close the back so attach yarn in the third stitch
Okay, to start, chain 4. This is one double crochet plus one chain. Skip the next space in the in the in the joint, make one double crochet. One double crochet in the next uh, space. One double crochet in the joint. So we have three double crochets here. And then chain one, skip the next space, one double crochet in the joint. One double crochet in the space. And you just repeat. Start of the shoulder strap. Make two double crochet at the end. Then we stop making double crochet. So your work should uh, look like this. Starting from the next joint, make one single crochet. Then one single crochet in the space and just repeat one single crochet in the joint and then one single crochet in the space. Okay, so you continue doing this uh, for the border of the straps, then in the front also, and then there, and then when you reach this part, just copy what you did in the other side. Then after making this side, when you reach uh, this one here, the corner, chain one, and then make one single crochet in each stitch in this one here. And then going down to the triangle and then going up and then in this side as well one single crochet in each stitch and then when you reach this uh, corner here you chain one and then end with a slip stitch in the third chain so if you want to make another row of single crochet go ahead and do that otherwise you can cut yarn and fasten off so we are nearly done here the only thing left to do is hide all the yarn ends and the string to close the back Get your yarn needle to hide the yarn end, face the wrong side of the top. Okay, and then insert the needle in the middle of the stitches. Right. 
sides so as you can see the needle is not going through the front Okay, so you do this in all your yarn ends. For the string, uh, make a chain. It depends how long you want your chain. For mine, I did 240 chains. In the second chain from the hook, slip stitch. I insert the hook and then yarn over pull through and to the loop also so you just do that all the way down then after slip stitching um, in the chains then you hide your yarn ends Okay guys, uh, this is my top and this is the end of this tutorial for some who doesn't know how to insert the string for the back, this is how you do it. I hope you like this tutorial and congratulations for making your own Kim Kardashian's uh, inspired crop top. I know each video I always remind you to please if you haven't, sub if you haven't clicked that subscribe button yet click it now and the bell so you will be the first person to know when i have a new video give this video a thumbs up if you like this top because based on my analytics not all of you are subscribed to my channel actually not even half uh, this will really help me if you subscribe so i can make more content for you one last thing follow me in instagram and tag me in any of your posts of my designs Thank you so much and see you in the next tutorial.